Hey Bellator Nation, this is five rounds with the one and only MVP. The normal one that comes up a lot anyway is uh, unorthodox. Um, I'd say unique and creative. I don't know, there's just like, like a spirit within me. Um, it's just very playful. It's like, I, I just, I just, I just love enjoying every moment, you know what I mean? Anytime I'm doing something, especially I'm doing something I love, I don't want to add any stress to it or add any, you know, tension to it. I just want it to be, all my memories, even if I was to lose a fight, I want to, I want to go out but that I was excited with my performance and still put on a show. Like, win or lose, you're guaranteed to see me just be, like, wild. I love my salsa, so, and I just randomly, I've always seen it in random places, either in videos or films or something, I'm like, you know, how do they know what each other are going to do, I just don't, I just never got it, it's always something that kind of, you know, got me, and I was like, I'm just going to try this, I asked a couple of my friends, they were like, I ain't doing that, man. I can't be asked, I was like, yeah, cool, went by myself, I just went, joined the class, fell in love with it straight away, just again, I just, I'm a fan of body movement and everything, um, I think it's quite a sexy style as well. Uh, so yeah, done that. They started telling me about other classes, and I just literally just non-stop. I've been doing it for about three years now. I just just love it. Uh, he's my brother, basically. Um, someone that's trained under my, with my dad and in, in uh, my, my my club team for for years. He's still with me now. Uh, Marvin Francis. He. Like I said, we trained together. He always used to look at me and was like, "Man, you're, you're so skinny, yeah." But like, every time you hit somebody, like, if visually it looks like you shouldn't have gotten that result, and he's like, "You got some real venom behind your your punches and stuff for for, for your look." So and, and it was fine. He'd just be like, "Yeah, venom, venom, venom," and it just started to catch on. And this is from a young age. And then obviously, as I started to you know, established myself in the kickboxing world, everyone was like, oh yeah, Venom, Venom, Venom. Then obviously people started calling me Michael Venom Page and, uh, and now it's like MVP, which uh, again, it just suits the, it just fits the, fits the role, like I love it. And again, it wasn't anything that I sat down and thought about, it just kinda, kinda happened with time. And uh, I'm, I'm, I'm actually happy that I got, it could have been worse. <laughs> so if you wanna kinda have a better understanding of where my style comes from. I think if you, if people was to watch freestyle kickboxing and then look at me in the cage, they'll be like, okay, it makes it makes perfect sense now. Like I think now, because they don't have anything to relate it to, they look at Thai boxers and they look at this and they look at wrestling and it, and it has nothing to do with any of that. They look at it and like, what the hell is he doing? Like, why is he doing that? Why is he doing this? Why is he? And normally, you know, people we get a little bit more tense and cautious when someone starts to get a little bit closer but you'd be nice and relaxed and I'm over there and I'm, I know I can get you from there. I'll just dive, bang, bang, hit, get, my, get my shot and I'll get out and before you get a chance to swing anything, I'm back out already and I'm back on my toes and I'm moving. But I think if you saw my, my style before, everyone is very flashy and, and showboaty anyway. It's a very acrobatical sport as well, so you see all the big kicks and this and, and then you'll straight away you'll be like, okay, now I can understand why his style is that way. You know what, I'd probably fight like Goku or something because that's a stupid challenge right there or let's go with the Hulk like it's one of those challenges where it's supposed to be impossible and I like overcoming things that are not supposed to be you know the norm you're supposed to and I like being in that kind of situation you're not supposed to win that fight so yeah be underdog. I love being the underdog I like to go in there and just like show people that I'm able to overcome absolutely anything. 